In 2012, EADS enjoyed high and rising profits, one-fifth higher than the year before. Its big task this year is to bring out the A350, Airbus's promised competitor for Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. The Dreamliner won so many orders from the world's carriers that it threatened to corner the market for long-range planes. Up until last month, when every Dreamliner in service had to be grounded because of an overheating fault in the plane's onboard batteries. Now Airbus is catching up. The Dreamliner has got just under 900 orders, but is not flying. The um, A350 XWB, X to Y bodied is the expression, uh, is now well over 600 orders, so it's catching it up. Well, with the interesting point is when does it fly? And then we will begin to see what's happening. EADS could have been even more profitable last year had it not had to spend hundreds of millions of dollars making repairs to the global fleet of Airbus's A380 Super Jumbos after cracks were found in the wings of many of them. The group's aim now is to absorb that expense and drive up revenues in the years ahead. We're targeting uh, around 10% return on sales in, in 2015. And yes, we've made uh, a lot of progress in, in recent years. Uh, 2012 was a year we made progress, but we're not yet there. We need to focus in more on the, on the bottom line, and that is what all four divisions are going to do. Having gained a march on Boeing, thanks to its misfortunes with the Dreamliner, Airbus and EADS want to roll out the first A350s without delay. It would be a symbolic triumph for this Franco-German group to give the plane its maiden flight at the Paris Air Show in June. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.